G'day, it's Pete, and welcome to the weekly free instant tournament, which is a BBO tournament, eight boards, match points. Uh, you get a shot to play this yourself, going on to BBO and have it given this a go. And then you can come here and compare with uh, what I did. Anyway, I'll uh, jump right in and we'll see how we go. I got a bit lucky last week uh, with my win. Um, hopefully I can win again, but just a bit more consistently here. Um, one other strange feature about this is that it always gives our hand the equal most or most high card points uh, compared to everyone else. Obviously on this hand I have the most high card points. Um, what do we got? 10, 20, 24 highs. And if my partner's got like Ace of Diamonds and King Queen of Hearts, we've got just 7 on. If I've got anything else, six is probably on. I think there's just like a key card and bid six, most likely kind of hand. If I've got something like uh, King of Hearts, King of Spades, six no trump might be on. Maybe I can take this slower and start with two no trumps. If I bid two no trumps first, uh, what's my partner got? Minimum six plus hearts. Like, I'm just wondering, is there a way that I can orchestrate the auction such that I find out if I've got the King of Spades instead? Maybe like six no trumps is probably possibly better anyway. Um, I really need them to have the King of Spades to do that. Uh, whatever, I'll just bid four no trumps. Oh. Yeah. Blackwood, one or four key cards. Um, I reckon I should ask for the queen. Like, I'm not sure if this promises, like, the ability to play seven. Uh, but if my partner doesn't have the queen of hearts, I reckon six no trumps is better. Whereas if they do have the queen of hearts, I want to play... Uh, if they have the queen of hearts, I'll play uh, six hearts. If they don't have it, I'll play six no trumps. I don't think the robot's likely to jump to seven. And this really depends on partnership agreement of whether you can or not. But what the hell? Let's try it. Six hearts, no heart queen. Alright, so let's try six no trumps. Okay, that's bad. That was bad. Well, I'm not going to get a good score for this. Uh, they let a diamond, so I want to hope that uh, six no trumps is down. So, on what? Oh, six hearts is down, I mean. Okay, so good news. Uh, wait, I'm in seven hearts. I was thinking I was going down in six no trumps. Alright, that's good. Heart, heart rough. So I'm down two. Uh, I want them to, I want six hearts to go down two as well. So diamond, diamond rough. I want this person to have queen fourth heart. It's like the only way I'm getting any match points at all. So if they've got queen fourth heart, I've still got a heart loser unless I trump this and then just take a finesse of the heart straight away. Okay, so I'm just getting zero percent. <laughs> This really depends on your methods of whether I could have asked for the Queen of Trumps without guaranteeing uh, the desire to actually play uh, seven. So there we were, seven hearts down four. Lots of people in six hearts down one. And now I knew that was going to be a pretty common spot. Like I wanted this six no trumps, but I wanted to check if my partner had the Queen of Hearts first. Um, so I didn't just want to bid six no trumps like this. But it really depends on your methods. I can understand why the robot bid seven. Um, but I reckon my, like, do you have the trump queen? No. And then I bid six no trumps should say, uh, I just wanted to bid, play no trumps instead of hearts without that. 
Like here, six no trumps south is only down on the spade lead. Six hearts north, like they can get diamond diamond off to start with, and then you also have to find the uh, heart queen. But my play, when I knew I was in some ridiculous contract, I needed to hope that people that were in a normal contract were getting some really terrible score anyway. And it looked like six hearts was going to be pretty normal. So I wanted six hearts to go down two, just like I was going. So six hearts was only going down two if East had queen fourth heart. So that's why I roughed a spade and hooked a heart the first time. All right. Well deserved zero percent to start with. Ah, interesting. I didn't understand that. If partner has king, queen of hearts, but no ace of diamonds, you still only have 11 tricks and 6 no trumps. 6, uh, six hearts, 4 clubs, 1 spade, unless partner has a spade trick as well. No, no, no. So if partner has the king, queen of hearts, I want to play 6 hearts. If partner had the king, queen of hearts, I wanted to play in hearts. If partner didn't have the queen of hearts, I wanted to play in no trumps. Because either they have a spade card and six no trumps would be much better, or otherwise they don't find their spade lead, which the robots tend not to do, and six no trumps will score better anyway. And I might have 12 tricks. Um, if my, I have no way of finding out if my partner had the king of spades or not. Now, if partner's got the same hand, but with the king of spades, then six no trumps is where you want to be. So all I was trying to do was say that if partner had the queen of hearts, I'll play in hearts. If they don't have the queen of hearts, I'll play no trumps. Either slam could be right. I was just figuring that if we were off an ace and the queen of hearts, then no trumps might be better on some layouts. Anyway, that was my idea. Obviously, when you're playing with a partner and you don't know what their continuations are going to be, it's all a bit risky. Um, but this hand's interesting. Now, I got 11 points, so I know that no hand's got more than 11 points. Uh, so if I pass, this will probably get passed in, because uh, the robots tend not to open 11 counts. If I open here... I'll, I'll open. Pass a club, three spades, double. All right. So my partner's got probably 11 points. I think it's like 11, 11, 10, 8, or 9, 9, or something. Uh... I don't really want to try for a, a game on 22 highs, so let's just pass this out and hope that because my partner's got 11 points that it's all okay. Okay. So I don't think this is actually going to be okay. They're probably going to make this. Whoa, my partner's got... Six hearts. All right, we got a rough. All right, down one. <laughs> Okay, that was pretty scary stuff, uh, but sort of what I was hoping for. 60.7%. Alright, so I think my partner's got a clear four heart bit over uh, three spades. So lots of people played three hearts north doubled. Some made it. So if they pass my hand, it went two spades, three hearts, penalty smash. And some people went down one. And if they lead their partner's suit, they actually beat it one trick. A couple of people bid three no trumps, which can go down. So I think three spades doubled down one is like the 
best I could have done on the hand legitimately. Some people uh, bid four clubs. I don't think I was ever bidding four clubs though. Like my bid was either three no trumps or pass. And the points were 10, 9, 10, 11. So all the points were really evenly split. Uh, and they can actually make three spades. So that's actually really scary stuff. But I don't think my partner's got a normal takeout double. I'd just definitely bid four hearts here and have it go four hearts smash. Okay. Couple of exciting hands to start with. Got some room for improvement. Again, I got a 12 count here. And so I know the points are pretty evenly split. If I invite my partner, they're almost certainly uh, raising to game. I got 12 highs with a singleton club. I don't think this hand's worth an invite, except this hand now made a take-up double. So I think my hand's got much better, because my king of spades here is certainly going to work. Yeah, let's take a pushy invite. Alright. Yeah, so my king of spades was on the side. Uh, so we've probably got a heart loser, a spade loser, a club loser. I might have two spade losers. Ace of spades. Jack of diamonds switch. All right, so it looks like diamonds aren't splitting. So I think uh, hearts are more likely to split. Ace could have a singleton, so I'll just cash this top on it here. And just play another top heart. And now just rattle off some diamonds. Um, pitch a spade. And a club. Now I can go king of spades, rough a spade, and I'll lose a heart and a club at the end. For a pretty good score. Oh wow. And now the spade is as high. Yeah. Um, it didn't really look like I was going to gain anything, so I thought about roughing it. But I was like, hey, I can just exit with a heart and see if they give me a rough and discard. But they're not going to. 420. 96%. Yeah. Awesome. So. Only one other person bid game, everyone else uh, bid the sort of more normal two heart bid. Uh, I think when Ace made the takeout double, uh, that sort of pushed me over the edge into inviting him. Because I know my King of Spades is uh, well positioned. And some other good stuff's probably going to happen. Um, it was also interesting because I knew my partner was going to accept the invite because of how the points are going to be located. But, yeah. I think bidding two hearts is also okay, but I felt like being a bit pushy. Giving it a shot. Alright, so climbing back in. 0, 60.7, 96.4. So I'm averaging above 50 again, which is good. One heart pass, two clubs, Drury. Michaels, wow. Alright, if my partner's got a maximum pass hand, I'm happy to bid game. A little bit scared, because I know every suit's going to break badly. So I could take the low road on this hand because of the bad splits here. Uh, but my king of spades is well positioned again. So let's just give four hearts a shot. Um, yeah, let's just double them. Wow, I had diamonds. Alright, so I got a heart, a spade, I'll get a diamond trick. The diamond's not running away anywhere, but maybe giving my partner a diamond rough is. But they didn't lead a singleton diamond, so I might, like, I've got Dalton spade, presumably. So I don't think they've got a singleton diamond. I think West is more likely to have it. So I'll actually just shoot a club through and try and get some club tricks.
Yep. Spade, spade, a win. Yeah, I'll just catch the ace of diamonds, yep. If they pulled a small diamond away, I was always rising with the ace anyway. And they're down one. Eighty-two percent. All right, what was happening here? So four spades doubled down one happened a lot. Four spades down one also happened a lot. A couple of people bid onto five hearts, which uh, failed. Uh, four hearts is cold, so they found a good sack. Um, but definitely need to double this contract here, no matter what you bid. It's a lot easier when you bid four hearts. A lot of people bidding. Oh yeah, just a few. A couple of people did some strange stuff. Good four spade bid by West. Got Singleton, Ace, four card support. That's all promising for giving it a shot. Anyway, up around 59% uh, now. So back in the game, even starting with my zero. Uh, uh, easy double here. 11 plus points. Natural clubs. What I have 12, so 10, 17 points. And I bid to four hearts again. Should I double this one? My king of clubs is probably a stopper. I got uh, a trick, sorry. And we've got two other races. For, that's probably three tricks. I just really don't think I've got another trick here. So I don't think I'll double this one. They're in, they had a game forcing option. My partner's probably got nothing. Uh, the fact that they jumped a game, they've probably got some distribution to go with it. So I reckon I just leave this one alone. And I'm just going to let it trump just passively. Whoa. Uh, Okay, I wasn't expecting that uh, club suit there in the west hand. <laughs> I just love how they do strange things like that. Alright, so they've drawn trumps, now they're leading a club. I don't want to cover this 10 because it's not going to promote anything for our side. If my partner's got the queen, they're just going to win it here. So good thing I didn't double because they're making 12. I reckon this will be a good score. I reckon there'll be a few people that look at their 17 points and double. 53%. Two people doubled. Uh, no one held it to 11. No one just swung their aces at it. We can collect two aces. Uh, okay, someone did weird stuff to get it top board. Um, but yeah, so there's two doublers, so I don't reckon this hand's appropriate for doubling. And they made their 12 tricks when partner had the requisite zero points I was expecting. Uh, it's kind of a bit rich to consider cashing your aces here, I reckon. Okay. Uh, 6, 10, 13. Pretty rubbish 13 count. Um, right. they can have it. I'm happy that they're vulnerable. Uh, might be able to, might beat this two on a good day. Ah, King of Hearts. Wow, my partner has Ace, King, Fifth Heart. So my partner will have no other points anywhere.
West has a lot of black cards. A lot of black cards. And they hadn't played me. Oh no, they didn't. The hand was just high. Alright, so they made 11. I only got 42% for them missing a game. So some people held it to 10. Oh, sorry, one person held it to 10. Yeah. That stuff's weird. Uh, I'm happy just selling out there. They've, they've got a game on. West should definitely bid more. Probably bid their clubs or something. They're not really going to get to game, but I would have expected that as a more normal score. Anyway. Two boards to go. 10-17. One spade past two spades. All right. Um... Uh, should I invite? Should I just bid four spades? Should I contemplate three? No. Um, I don't think I should contemplate three. No, really. I don't think this hand screams out that three no trumps is going to be better. Uh, so should I bid four spades or should I invite? Uh, uh, it is a pretty nice hand. I like my hand, so I'll just bid game. Alright, so partner wouldn't have chosen 3-0 anyway. Ace the Diamonds lead, that's kind of an obscure lead. Right. I'm not sure how I'm going to play this on the trump switch. Wow, Ace of Diamonds, another diamond. Alright, well that solves some of my issues. I could now play for trumps to be 3-2. And... Play ace of spades, king of spades, spade to the jack. If I start doing that, am I just really stuffed any time they're not 3-2? Uh, I could also like just lead the jack of diamonds and see if ace roughs this and I can over rough and then I can do that same thing with much more safety, but that might blow a trick for me, which is kind of really scary at match points. It looks like I got five spades, five diamonds. Why would ace swing the ace of diamonds from ace third? Uh, so I might get four discards if I uh, do that. Um, or if I do the other line, I've only got three discards, which is probably a bit scary. So let's let's play for spades three two. So far, so good. Awesome. So now I can do that, and I can pitch down to King, Queen, Dalton, Club, and just give up one club trick for it, sure. Throw all my hearts away. Uh, the Ace of Hearts was on side. I was really hoping it wasn't, because some people would pitch down to King, X of Hearts. 67%. Lots of people making 11. Well, is everyone doing the same stuff? Ace of diamonds, another diamond. Spade, spade, spade. Yeah, so looks like people were just all drawing trumps. And then they just roll into 11 tricks after that. Okay, on to the last hand. Diamond pass a heart. 15 bagger. Balance hand, no stoppers. I want to encourage my partner to over, to compete here, so I reckon takeout doubles pretty reasonable. I don't actually have a shortage, but if my partner wanted to bid, they could. Two hearts, pass, pass. Can I really make a second takeout double here? My partner's got short hearts and didn't want to uh, bid on. So what does my partner have? What is going on? Like, my partner's clearly got some points. I think East has some spades with their hearts, and that's why my partner doesn't actually have that much length in spades. Because I'd have to bid any time they had five spades. 
If they only had four spades and like a five count, they might pass. No, well, I bid once. I'll let it go. Oh, wow. Looks like uh, drawing trumps is a decent idea. Not sure how many tricks we're going to get here. Alright, so they drew trumps. Leading a spade up. I'll duck this one. Wow, they hooked my jack. It's greedy bastards. Uh, so East still has a one heart, West has one heart. I reckon I just make West rough. I don't think switching to a diamond does much here. Okay, and they make 10 tricks and missed another game and I only scored 53% for that. Snuck into rank 4 though. They're cold for 10 tricks, so I don't think there's much we can do about that. Only one person held them to 10. Um, wow, the winning score was on 82.5%. That guy had a good round. He probably didn't start with a zero that I did. Anyway, 57% overall, starting with a zero. Uh, not too shabby. Um, I knew that I might have put myself into some uncharted territory with the robots and was being a bit adventurous, but I figured it was the time to try it. Anyway, I'm just disappointed that uh, we didn't get much reward for sort of board six and eight where they missed games. Uh, or even missed a, almost missed a slam. I would have found the defense against slam. Didn't feel like I was getting much reward for a few of my boards, but I'm happy overall. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this uh, weekly free instant tournament. Thanks for watching, and I'll be right back with a commentated play session shortly.